Good morning, everyone. We are. We know that there's still some people uh, coming in, but let's get started. Uh, so, good morning, friends and colleagues. Welcome to Summit 2018. How's your head? Uh, thank you for being present with us this morning, and thank you for coming to what CBRC considers the most important couple of days of the year. Alors, bonjour tout le monde et bienvenue au Summit 2018. Comment va la tête? Euh, merci beaucoup à tout le monde qui est ici. Euh, cette semaine, c'est tellement la semaine plus importante chez CBRC, alors nous sommes tellement contents de vous savoir ici. We want to acknowledge that we're currently on the unceded Coast Salish territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh people, and that we're grateful to be able to keep doing queer men's health work here as we continue to work on our commitment to truth and reconciliation. Uh, as we were reminded uh, by the Metro Vancouver Aboriginal Executive Council and the rites of passage ceremony that was held here last year, there is a distinct link between health, culture, and the land. So I know over the next couple of days, we are going to keep exploring these connections. Alors, je m'appelle José Patiño Gómez et je suis le coordinateur national au soutien pour CVRC à Toronto et pour les projets avancés. Vous pouvez savoir en plus sur avancé demain matin. Cette année, c'est la 14e année pour les sommets et c'est 19 ans déjà pour CVRC. Well, my name is Jose Patino Gomez. I'm the National Support Coordinator for CVRC in Toronto and for the Advanced Community Alliance that you could hear more about tomorrow morning. Uh, my name is Darren Ho. I'm the Program Manager here at CBRC. Uh, we are just one year away from the 20th year milestone for CBRC and also one year away from the 15th anniversary of the summit. Uh, it's great to see so many familiar faces and also some new folks who are coming to the summit here for the first time. So welcome everyone. Well, indeed, this is my first year of the summit, so I'm pretty excited to be here with all of you guys. Um, but for all of you who have been coming to the summit for the last 14 years, some of you, you have been referring to this as the Gay Men's Health Summit. And at CVRC, we're almost uh, working on recognizing that the limitations that we created for ourselves sometimes don't reflect the scope of all of the communities that we belong to. And that means that oftentimes the relevant and important work, ideas, and people get left out of our conversations. As a very small part of the work to create a shift in, this, uh, in our field in regards to this, we're moving from the Gay Men's Health Summit from here on in to just be the summit. So we hope you'll join us in our efforts to continue to engage communities in meaningful discussions about health and the well-being of all men who have sex with men or guys into guys, recognizing that these terms for us encompasses guys with a wide range of identities, including gay, bisexual, queer, cis and trans men and two-spirit people. Uh, nous espérons que vous pourrez vous joindre aussi à uh, nos efforts afin de continuer à engager les communautés dans des discussions constructives sur la santé et le mieux-être de tous les hommes ayant des relations sexuelles avec des hommes, en reconnaissant que cette terre englobe une large variété d'identités, y compris les hommes gays, bisexuels et queer, cis et trans, et les personnes bispirituelles. Uh, ces dernières années, le CVRC s'est développé pour devenir une organisation nationale. Uh, cela vient d'avoir un engagement uh, plus fort d'inclure de façon plus significative nos partenaires francophones, uh, les intervenants et les membres de la communauté. Nous nous efforçons de créer une présence francophone plus forte dans notre programme et nous espérons que vous serez patientes avec nous au cours de ces processus. Aussi d'être patiente avec moi parce que le français c'est ma troisième langue, alors je m'excuse. <laughs> uh, so, my colleagues and I at Community Based Research Center, along with our partners, are constantly working on being the bridge between research and policy change. Uh, sometimes I find it hard to explain to my family and friends what it is that I do for work. Uh, but essentially, we use research to advocate for policy and health systems change that will lead us to seeing better health outcomes. And our communities have seen many successes since we've romanced the package here last year. 
So since this time last year, the HIV prevention tool that we know as PrEP has been publicly founded in British Columbia, Alberta, and Saskatchewan. Additionally, this year we saw that PrEP got covered under provincial drug plans in Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, and Newfoundland and Labrador. And uh, we saw these provinces follow the leadership of Ontario, Quebec, and the First Nations and the Inuit Health Branch in BC, all of whom we are already making PrEP more accessible before 2018. Additionally, Canadian Blood Services has been working with us and our partners to re-examine their discriminatory blood deferral policy on men who have sex with men. And not to imply that, oops, not to imply that uh, CBRC has played a role in every positive change we've seen in policies affecting our communities, uh, but we are also very glad that this year we saw Vancouver and Nova Scotia ban conversion therapy. And in recent weeks, we've also seen, yeah, in recent weeks, we've also seen BC and Nova Scotia recognize X as an option for marking gender identity on birth certificates, as well as on BC driver's licenses. And very importantly, this is the first year of the summit since the very important advent of the group chat feature on Grindr. Uh, yeah, so I know we're all so thrilled about this new way to network with each other. Well, and speaking of apps and social media, we encourage you to use our hashtag for anything related to CBRC. And also for all of you who wants to stay connected, the Wi-Fi login is in the fourth page of your program. Uh, so we're lucky that here in BC, uh, there is both provincial and federal support for the summit. Tomorrow you will be hearing uh, greetings from the federal government. But today we have Spencer Chandra Helber, the MLA for Vancouver West End, who can be here with us in person, but has some words to give us in a video. Hello, my name is Spencer Chandra Herbert. I'm the member of the legislature for Vancouver's West End, which is the heart of our province's gay community. I'm here today to bring you greetings on behalf of our provincial government, our Premier John Horgan, Health Minister Adrian Dix, and everybody in the BC government uh, to welcome you to Vancouver and our province of BC. The Gay Men's Health Summit has provided so much important research, ability to connect, and for us to grow as a community and to improve health outcomes all across Canada. Thank you for being here to share your information, your ideas, uh, and your wisdom so that we can learn and prosper. Uh, as a gay man, I know how important your work is. Thank you. I want to thank you for all of you who advocated and pushed uh, the dial so that our government would invest in PrEP to improve health care for gay men in this province. Thank you. Uh, it's making a difference, and it wouldn't have happened without the research and advocacy that you brought to the table. So on behalf of the BC government, thank you for being here. Welcome. I wish I could be there with you. Hello from Victoria. I hope the rest of the summit goes very well, uh, and I look forward to learning from what comes out of the summit. Thanks again. Thank you, Spencer. I'm sure those of, uh, for some of us in the room, uh, we don't need to be reminded that there's still a lot of more work to be done. And when it comes to advocating for health and well-being of people in our communities, we're ready to do that. Yeah, we know that there's still a lot, there's still a lot more to be done. We know that there's still a need for more sexual health clinic and testing options in BC outside of the Lower Mainland and beyond. Ontario is fighting against outdated sexual education curriculum in schools. And explicit trans erasure at the policy level is becoming a reality for our neighbors in the states. Uh, not disclosing your HIV positive status can still result in criminal charges here in Canada. And queer youth are still facing barriers of long wait lists when accessing mental health services. So there's still a lot of work to be done. And we need to fight for our rights and fight to keep our rights. Uh, this year, we are highlighting research, work, and progress in the areas of mental health and substance use. As we delve into such heavy topics like loneliness, anxiety, depression, addictions, and suicide, I would like to remind us all of our duty to self-care and to care for each other. If there are times throughout the summit that you would like to talk to someone, we have counselors here available uh, from Health Initiative for Men. So we have Alvaro Luna and Aaron Purdy, could you please stand up? Um, and also MTS Papaz from Salam and Elder Bill White also present if you need someone to talk to at any point during the summit. Um, so sorry, I know you all stood up. Can you just stand up and stay standing up for just a bit? Oh. Thanks. Sur de 
Si au cœur de ce sommet, vous souhaitez parler avec quelqu'un des conseillères de Health Initiative for Men, sont présentes ici, ainsi que l'aîné Bill White. Alors, ce que nous abordons des sujets aussi sérieux que la solitude, l'anxiété, la dépression, les dépendances et les suicides, je voudrais rappeler à tous notre devoir de prendre soin de soi-même et de la sorte. All right, now I'd like to take some time to thank some people without whom uh, we wouldn't be able to have summit. So first is our programming committee, and this is a group of hardworking uh, queer men's health advocates who took time to review over 50 abstracts and provide uh, advice and feedback on our program. So thank you to Sarah Chown, Rocky James, Nathan Lachowski, Rick Marchand, Tom McCauley, Fred Proveno, Aaron Purdy, Travis Sawe, and Raheem Thar. And of course, we also want to thank our community partners who continue to support the summit in so many ways. Uh, Max Ottawa, Health Initiative for Men, Réseau, ACT, Health, Men's Health Initiative, Youth Co, and Edmonton's Male Health Collective. And none of this will be possible without the generous support of our sponsors and supporters who continue to believe in the summit and invest in our health. Uh, that includes the Public Health Agency of Canada, BC Ministry of Health and the Province of BC, and the BC Centre for Disease Control. New sponsors this year are also Pentash Winery and Rod Rosen Design. Yeah. We also want to acknowledge this year's presenting sponsor, Vive Healthcare. Vive Healthcare is a pharmaceutical company that is 100% dedicated to HIV AIDS research and treatment and to supporting people living with HIV or AIDS across Canada. Uh, later, you'll hear from the Vive's director of marketing. Um, but for now, thank you, Vive. And this is actually our first year having a presenters, a presenting sponsor. And as the summit grows, we'll be looking for more corporate partners so that we can eventually move to a larger space. Uh, we know that some people might have mixed feelings about sponsorship, but we also invite you to express those feelings in the evaluation of the summit that will happen uh, shortly after the summit. Yeah. Uh, we'd also like to thank Rick Marchand and Terry Trussler, who are founding members of CBRC and CBRC's senior executive advisors uh, for their work and support at the summit. Thank you, Rick and Terry. Uh, so also, it's their job to provide advice and support to Jody, which, as you can imagine, is no easy feat. Uh, <laughs> I didn't write that part. And finally... <laughs> And finally, the CBRC Board of Directors, uh, the entire staff, our investigators team, and our volunteers, uh, thank you. We're here because of you. Um, and so before uh, we pass over the stage to someone else, I just want to give a quick shout out to the BC Community Advocates, or the BC Commas for short. Uh, this year, through a partnership between CBRC Health Initiative for Men, Men's Health Initiative, and the Advanced Alliance, uh, we were able to grant scholarships to sponsor a dozen community members in BC outside of Metro Vancouver to come and attend Summit. Uh, these folks are coming all the way from Prince George, Kamloops, Kelowna, uh, the island in Victoria, Abbotsford, Campbell River, uh, and beyond. So this group is really eager to take what they'll be learning here at Summit and apply the learnings back to their home communities. And we're very thankful that they're here to do this very important work. Uh, so if you see someone, yeah, thank you to the BC Advocates. Um, so if you see someone whose name tag says BC Community Advocate, uh, make sure you introduce yourself to them. Uh, all right, so now I'd like to introduce CBRC's Executive Director, Jody Jollimore, who will be talking about CBRC's path towards truth and reconciliation. Welcome, Here's Jody. Here's Jody. 